Hi. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate the CleanTech File Vista with your UNG installation. The first thing you have to do is to navigate to the Clean Download side. On the right, you click Download, and it's important that you download the manual installation. Click Download, Save As. Wait for it to download and then extract all the files. There we go. We then copy the file vista to a location on our UG server. Point to computer, point to C, find the location for example it could be within the INAP pop. Let's just drop the files here. Yes. Verify the security on the files. Yes, looks about right. So let's copy the pet path. Go in and open the Internet Information Service. Right click and then we create a new website. And we could call this File Vista. Put in our path and then we put in a port name, for example. It could be 83. Free, free. Click save, and then we click. Just maximize. Now it's important that we um, find the application tool, and that we make sure that the file Vista is running under .NET Framework 4.0 instead of 2.0. So please make sure that you've downloaded the .NET Framework and integrated with the IIS before you can actually change the setting within the IIS. So if we go in here you can actually see that .NET Framework versions it doesn't seem to have been installed. So let's go to our old friend Google. Type .NET Framework 4.0. Web-based installation is OK. We select English. Wait for it. Click download. No, thank you. And click run. Can click run. Click yes. Accept the end user license agreement. Wait for the installation to download and then complete. And now the installation is finished. We click the button to finish. Click close and also click close here. Minimize it. And then we'll try to go into the option again. So let's click uh, advanced settings and okay. So let's try closing the console and then reopening it. Looks about right now. And then let's change this one to 4.0. 4.0 and click OK. 
So uh, now let's try opening the site again. As you might see, as you might see from the picture, as you might see, on the sites, our previous created sites is now disappear. And this happens due to the UG is actually overwriting the content of the IRS. So what we have to do to prevent this is to create a new registry key. So we pull up our registry editor, navigate to the UID section under software, Microsoft, Web Communication, ECAP, Configuration, Installation, Common, we then go down to Local Machine, Navigate to Software, Write Web Communication, um, ECAP, Navigate to configuration, right click and create a new key called RWS, create a new key again, the name of the file site, or the name of the website, file vista. We now recreate our website. We select the location for Vista. Give the website a name again for Vista. Select the appropriate pool. Make sure it's 4.0. Put in the right port again and start the site immediately and then click OK. Let's try browsing the site now. So let's start by browsing. And there we go. We have the basic configuration up and running. We uh, need to change the rights on the basic folder so let's just do that um, so what we do is that we uh, navigate down to the file system and navigate down to file vista right click the app data click security click edit add select the UAD server and then we find uses and then we select the one called ISS IS and click OK grant modify permissions OK advanced change permissions and replace old child object permissions Click OK, click OK, click OK, close it, minimize it, and then try to refresh it again. And now it says granted. We're now able to click next. Configure the basic configuration. Usually I will recommend that we use a SQL server, but for the purpose of this demo we will use a, a Vista DB. So we'll click next. Verify the configuration, yes. Type in some credentials. Leave the default, it's okay. And click Run File Vista. 
tries to log in using my previous entered credentials. Select remember me. Like yes. And I'll select the trial mode and click OK. And here we have it. We now pull up our UAG management console, find a trunk for it, and we click add. We define a other web application. Say for example file Vista. Click next. That's okay. That's okay. Type in local host. And then use single sign on no. File Vista, open new window, okay. Authorize, yes. Yes. Click save and apply the settings. The configuration is now applied. Let's click finish. And let's try the new changes. Now that we have the site up and running, let's try adding some shares. So we point to administrator, administration, click root folders, right click, new folder, enter name, enter description, put in the path, let's just enter it manually, so here we go, to, and then we click load, and here we got the, the content, we uh, find a user, add some permissions, add a user again, then public folder, sorry, public to, and then we say public load content, add a user, find admin, correct, seems about right. And let's see how it looks from the user's perspective. Now we jump back to the UD portal and try to log in to see whether or not our changes have been reflected within the console. So here we have the file vista and the file access. So let's try loading file vista. Agree to the trial and we see content as before. So we have the ability to browse content like before. So let's just go to drivers for example. Try to load the setup, it downloads try to load the old component similar experience, similar experience so it's it's the same experience you get from both sides um, I feel that this is a bit more modern than the old one so and you have s the same abilities so you can also upload and download and so on so hope you enjoyed this demo